What's up guys? So I'm making my first ever about me video. I'm so excited so you guys can learn more about me. But um, so it'll be 10 questions and then there'll be a bonus question at the end. So stay to the end, watch through all. It's great content, I promise. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, question number one is how old are you and what is your sign? So I'm 21 and my sign is an Aries. I know my name is Ari and I'm an Aries, so cute. Okay, <laughs> question number two is where do you go to college? So I go to Dartmouth College. It's an Ivy League school in New Hampshire. Yeah, pretty small school, but it's beautiful. Like I would highly recommend visiting. Question number three, what are your future career goals? So at Dartmouth, I majored in economics and I originally wanted to work at like a big bank like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. But now like that I've been here and I've been playing as a professional athlete, I want to do this as my job and get paid to play. And then I would do get paid from sponsorships and basically being an influencer. And then I want to get into modeling, like fitness modeling and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing as my career. So basically being an influencer, that'll be my job. Okay, question number four. What was the hardest part about moving to Cali and how do you like it? First, I wanna start by saying I love Cali so much. Like, I freaking love it here. Um, compared to just Philly, like, weather is way better. There's beaches everywhere, so I can go to the beach whenever I want to. And then just the people that you can meet or like have access to is the most thing, important thing to me, honestly, because, you know, the people you meet is how you get connections and how you network. So that's really important to me. Um, but I will say that it's super expensive to live here. Like, um, I'm thankful that I get like funded by USA Rugby. Um, but for like anyone who wants to like move here, it is going to be more expensive. Food is more expensive. Gas is more expensive. So yes, but I will say do it. Like, just do it. Like, just experience Cali. So yeah. Um, question number five, what sport do you play? How long have you played? And what made you want to play rugby? So this is the reason I'm making this video. You guys should know what sport I play. But anyway, I play rugby. Um, I've been playing for six years now. I started in 2015, it's 2021. So six years. Um, what made me want to play? Well, I'm going to tell you guys the story. Long story short, but me and my friend Jade, um, there was a high school stand set up for like club rugby. They were like, come out and play. So we were like, we had no idea what rugby was. Like no idea. Um, so we were like, they were like, come on and play. So we signed up. I didn't think we were actually going to go. Like, I really didn't think we were going to go. But then Jade came to me on the day of practice and she was like, did you bring your rugby stuff? And I was like, oh, we're actually going. And she was like, yeah. So her mom drove me home to get my stuff, um, got my stuff. And then we went to practice and it was so much fun. Like, it reminded me of Capture the Flag. And I love, <laughs> I don't know, it's so such a random game, but I really do love Capture the Flag. And I was like, all I gotta do is get the ball and run, say no more. So it was pretty much only up from there. My coach invited me to this other club team as like a higher level club team. And um, so we traveled to Utah and then a few years later we went to Paris. Um, USA saw me and they were like, we want you to come out to our youth camps. So I came out to the youth camps and training there and now I go to college to play rugby and at the Olympic Training Center training for a spot. So. I like to say that rugby chose me because I had no idea what it was in the beginning and then it just was only up from there. So I'm super grateful. Try anything fun that you don't know about, just do it. <laughs> okay, question number six is, what is your biggest motivation? My biggest motivation is really my two little sisters. Like I wanna show them that whatever goal you wanna achieve, just keep working hard and you will achieve it. So I think that's really important. One of the most important reasons that I play, I play to inspire people. I know when people see me going and see me working hard, they it makes them wanna do it too. So for my followers, for you guys, for people watching me, I just, I think it's, I just like doing it. I really do. I like you guys. I like being able to motivate people in general. So yeah. Um, and last but not least, I play with my dad in my heart and my spirit. Like he is what drives me in spirit so yeah i think that's that's a big part of it too um question number seven is how have your mental skills grown over the years so i definitely struggle with like anxiety overthinking all that stuff and um what i did to combat that was 
meditating every day for six minutes like um yeah and that's just simple like sitting being practicing being present in the moment and that's what meditation did for me it when i was feeling anxious or anything like that i would i was able to easily come back and be present in the moment and calm myself down and be like Ari, you're good so i think that's super important i would highly recommend meditating if you have like any anxiety or whatever like just do it it just calms your mind in general so yeah um question number eight how do you stay confident even after a bad practice or a bad game but better yet a bad season i love this question so much because still to this day i'm working on it and still trying to figure it out and obviously there's like no clear set answer but um the way i've been trying to work it out and figure out figure out how to combat it is um like i've been reading about it and i asked my teammates for their perspective so mainly overall um so first i would say you have to accept that the game can go either way like you have to accept that you're not going to always win every game so me in the beginning i would go out there like we're going to win this game like no doubt about it that we're going to win and when we didn't win that would only put me in distress after the game like a bad just mad bad mental health in general after a game so and then I started to realize when I go into my next game, like I still had the mindset we're going to win, but then I was anxious and scared because the old, like when we lost, that still, that come, that all that, all those feelings come back to you. So setting the intention, just knowing that you're not going to win every game for one. So what I want to say to do instead is to go into the game ready to perform at your best and knowing that you will make a mistake. Like it's okay to mess up. It's part of the process. So. You have to be able like um if we're talking about a game yeah we're talking about a game so go into a game ready to perform at your best and accepting that you're going to make a mistake because it's going to happen so then i would say after you've had that game and say you lost the game then that's when you reflect that's how you regain your confidence you reflect and you work on what you messed up on so that's how i regain my confidence is when i work on something and then i come back to the game ready and prepared to to play again so I would say that that goes for practice games and seasons like after practice watch your film see what you need to fix and try to fix it the next day so yeah okay um question number nine is when are you going to the olympics if only i knew <laughs> um so olympic selections are so the olympics is this year 2021 and then we get we find out who is who makes the team next week so after next week that's when i'll know if i'll be going to the 2021 olympics if i don't make this olympics hoping i do like praying all working hard all that stuff but um if i don't then i'll be in 2024 like i'm gonna i'll go back to school and then i'll come back to train for 2024 olympics and that's really exciting so yeah that's when i'll be going either this year or either 2024 so Stay tuned. Okay, so the last question is question number 10. It is, how do you feel about the vaccine? So I just wanna say, do your research. Like, don't listen to Instagram memes. Don't listen to TikToks. Like, do your own research and get your own perspective on it. Like, a lot of people are hesitant because they don't know what's in it. What, like, they don't know what it'll do to you in the future. And that's all reasonable because I had the exact same doubts. But I look at it as it's a way to protect people. Like a lot of people have died from COVID, like, and that's that's just a fact. A lot of people die from COVID, so it's the it's the way that you can protect yourself from getting the back from getting the um, virus, and you can protect other people from getting the virus. So, just that's just how I see it. That's my perspective. Like, it's totally fine to have doubts. Like, but do your research and figure it out figure out what you need to figure out. So yeah, time for the bonus question. The bonus question is, what do you look for in a guy? Hmm. So I look for a guy who is ambitious, like he has to have goals set out for himself, know what he wants to do, obviously. Um, someone who's supportive, supports me in my endeavors, supports me as an athlete, supports me as a woman. Um, someone who is smart, like you can debate, I can go come to you for things for an intelligent answer. Um, and we can just debate about things, ideas and stuff like that. I, I like that a lot. Um, and obviously someone who's athletic, like you don't have to be an athlete. But I would like someone who that works out, that likes to work out, who likes to eat healthy. Well, you don't have to, you know, eat super healthy, but health is important to them. So 
that's a big thing for me that's all i got for you guys so thank you for watching i hope you watched it all good content if you ask me so yeah um stay tuned for my next video like this subscribe to my channel and thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video